everybody, it's Allison with the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Thanks for joining me for Science Story Time today. If you're anything like me and you hate being stuck inside on a rainy day, there's nothing better than curling up with one of your favorite stories. Today's story is Raindrop Clap by Wendy Chayette Lewison, and then I'm going to show you how to make it rain right inside your kitchen. Raindrop Plop by Wendy Chayette Lewison. One little raindrop, dark, dark sky. Two little raindrops, clouds go by. Three little raindrops, splat, splat, splat. Four little raindrops, boots and hat. Five little raindrops, shiny red coat. Six little raindrops, bright blue boat. Seven little raindrops, plop in a cup. Eight little raindrops, umbrella up. Nine little raindrops, puddle fun. Ten little raindrops, still no sun. Too many raindrops, run, run, run. Back in the house now, that is that. Off with the raincoat, off with the hat. 10 little toes in a nice warm tub. Nine soapy bubbles, scrub a dub dub. Eight fluffy towels, soft and white. Seven brass buttons, shiny, bright. Six tiny marshmallows float in a cup. Five small pretzels, gobble them up. Four furry squirrels want something to eat. Three hungry birds, tweet, tweet, tweet. Two bright eyes, what do they see? Out of the window, out by the tree. Raindrops stopping one by one. No more raindrops. Sun, sun, sun. The end. And thanks for reading along with me. Be sure to stick around because we're gonna make it rain inside. All right, so in our story today, Raindrop Plop, you guys, the seven little raindrops plopped in a cup, which reminded me of one of my all-time favorite science act activities that you can, you can do at home. This activity, I like to call shaving cream rain clouds. To make this happen and to make it rain inside, you need shaving cream, any kind will work, food coloring, uh, eyedropper or pipette. I'm going to use straws because I don't have a pipette at home with me here, but some straws will definitely work. These are just a couple shallow dishes with water in it. Um, and then you can use any size vase or bowl. This is a fish bowl. I've got a cup here um, that you can fill about half or three quarters of the way with water. Alrighty, everybody, we are going to get started with our shaving cream rain clouds. First thing we need to do is take our blue food coloring and add a few drops into our shallow little dish here with water. So we have a really concentrated solution with blue food coloring in it here. And then you wanna take your shaving cream, give it a good shake before you use it. And in my glass, it's about half full. What I'm gonna do is just do a little bit right on the surface of the water. That shaving cream is gonna represent our cloud, which is sitting high above our atmosphere, represented by the water here, but is the air around us. Next, what we're gonna do is take your straw or your pipette, whatever you have at home. We're gonna get a few drops in there, and we're gonna add a few drops right on the top of the cloud. And add just a few more up here. And now we're gonna wait. Add a couple more. So 
So this is the fun part. We've got our blue water on top of our shaving cream cloud here. And if you come down eye level, you can start to see this blue food coloring is making its way through the shaving cream cloud down into the grass and it looks like it's raining. Oh yeah, you can start to see some of the some of the drops coming down through the water. So representing the rain or the snow precipitation coming down through the atmosphere from the clouds. Clouds are formed high in the atmosphere when water vapor that has evaporated from across the Earth's surface rises and then it reaches a point and it cools. As it cools, it condenses and forms clouds. When it gets to the point where it is a cloud that has so much water, it becomes really heavy. That's when we start to see precipitation. Here in Rochester, we see a lot of snow, right? One form of precipitation. Or here inside today, it's raining. You can see these drops coming right, right down. Something you can also do, now that we've got it raining in a, in a small cup here, for kind of the grand finale today, what you can do, take your shaving cream, maybe find a bigger bowl or a bigger vase, a different shape, Give your shaving cream a good shake again. And you're gonna add, make a big cloud right on the surface of your bowl or vase. Right, maybe like a big thunderhead that you see before a storm rolls in. And then take food coloring, maybe a couple different colors, mix it up a little bit. And you can add different colored drops again right to the top of your cloud. If you squirt the food coloring right from the, uh, right from the jar here, it's a little more concentrated and does tend to move through the shaving cream a little bit faster. All right, you guys, we're back with our grand finale of our kind of our three colors here with our really big shaving cream rain cloud. You can see that we've got the blue, the green, and the red food coloring coming through our cloud. When you try this at home, one thing I wanna make sure you know is that this does take a little bit of time. So as the food coloring makes its way through the shaving cream, it can take 30 seconds to a minute or two before it starts to rain. Just think of that process, right? When the water molecules have evaporated and they're condensing, that process, part of the water cycle, also takes time. Thanks so much for joining me and for making some shaving cream rain clouds today. I hope you had a great day and we'll see you next time.